right here and using my square to find the center. And now I've got my calipers out and this is what I'm going to use to uh, trace out a circle so I can cut it out in the bandsaw here in a few. Use the bend saw to cut this circle out. I'm not gonna go right on the line, I'm gonna go right above the line because later on I'm gonna use my sander to bring it right on up to the edge. And here I am at my miter saw, I'm cutting the legs at a five degree bevel. And what I had to do here, uh, because my drill press doesn't tilt, the table doesn't tilt, I had to get a piece of scrap wood and I cut it at a five degree. And so I'm gonna place the top of the stool on top of that scrap piece. So when I drill down, it'll be at a five degree, so it'll match the five degree bevel on the legs. And here I'm just placing the legs in there just so you can get a, a, a look at how the uh, five degree bevel looks on the legs. I'm using my uh, disc sander here to sand it down to the line, um, getting all the extra that I missed while I was using the bandsaw. All right, for the top, what I'm gonna do is just a slight round over to the top of the stool, just to kind of break the edges a little bit. And for the bottom of the stool, I'm going to use my chamfer bit. It's going to just give it more of a cleaner look. Alright, I'm at the oscillating sander and I got these one inch diameter dowels. And I'm going to use the sander to basically eat away the middle of these. Uh, to base. So the, the foot rungs will mate up to the stool legs to kind of make it look like it's meant to be there. And here I am sanding. Um, I sanded and started at like 80, working my way up to like 120, and all the way up to like 240. I didn't go through all that and show that. I mean, sanding and sanding, not much. <laughs> There's not a whole lot you can really see on that, so. And here's everybody's favorite part. I'm using uh, dark walnut Danish oil on this mahogany wood. This is what really makes it pop. This is where all the, the payoff is. You get to see all your hard work, you know, really come out. Black walnut Danish oil is it's my favorite to use on mahogany. It's just beautiful. I'm using semi-gloss polyurethane just to help seal everything up and protect it. Alright, I've taped off uh, the upper half of the legs and I'm spray painting the lower half white. I use about three coats here. Now I'm just uh, gluing the legs in place and uh, you'll see in a minute I also wiped away the squeeze out and um, I forgot to film the part about putting the, um, the foot rungs on there uh, so I apologize but you'll see at the end how that all turned out.
here is the finished product i hope y'all like enjoy and don't forget please like subscribe comment whatever i'm always open to constructive criticism thank you very much <laughs>